Protests turned violent as angry crowds set fire to the Aurora Courthouse. I heard some screaming. Violence that started with the car driving through demonstrators and shots fired. The latest Elijah McClain demonstration is declared an illegal protest. The current Black Lives Matter movement is one of the biggest social justice movements in our American history. We begin tonight with breaking news. This intense video just into us from Aurora. People shattering windows at the municipal building and also trying to set fires inside the courthouse. Our Denver 7 cameras were there as this all escalated. Let's look at it from above right now. This is a live picture from Air Tracker 7 over that area by the Rural Municipal Center. You can see right there a crowd is still gathered in the intersection. It only took a small crowd to do a lot of damage just in the last couple of hours. Aurora police are tweeting that this is now an unlawful protest, saying they will arrest people who don't leave the area. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jacqueline Allen. This protest started peacefully with protests over the death of Elijah McClain this afternoon. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez has been following these demonstrators all night. And Lance, what's going on out there right now? Well, there's a group of protesters that massed out in Alameda Avenue uh, just a few minutes ago. They were blocking traffic. Then they moved over into Alameda Drive. We're blocking traffic there. Now we're seeing a group of them uh, march eastward along Alameda toward Chambers. Now, earlier today, you know, there was some gunfire uh, along I-225. And just a few minutes ago here in front of police headquarters, that fence was pushed over and they laid waste to the windows of the municipal courthouse. I heard some screaming. I looked over and there was like the, the Jeep driving, like coming real fast, driving through. Marchers scrambling to get off I-225 as a Jeep comes barreling up to the crowd. You can see marchers throwing things at the Jeep. Aurora police tweeting that a protester decided to fire off a weapon, striking at least one other protester. I heard a couple pops that wouldn't be normal. This marcher didn't know if it was gunfire. Someone had like a like a gauze with like a wrap right around here. Unruly protesters targeting the newly installed fence in front of Aurora PD. They pushed it down, busted out some lights, and broke at least seven windows in the municipal court building using the protective plywood to try to ignite a fire inside. Police say protesters are throwing objects, shining lasers, and tossing fireworks at officers. Police have come out, but have so far not engaged the unruly crowd. This is a dramatic turn from the march earlier this evening when I asked one participant what impact the marches are having. The current Black Lives Matter movement is one of the biggest social justice movements in our American history. Uh, it's creating change. We're creating laws. We're bringing awareness across the country and across the globe to these issues of police brutality. So they're critical. Now, some protesters obviously believe these marches are having an impact. Others believe the violence and vandalism are having as much of an impact as well. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. All right, thanks, Lance. And they did get those fires out at the courthouse.